Alex Bryce, tell us about this very impressive picture. Um, I was drawing a picture of the Northern Lights and how how beautiful they are and how different they can be in different ways. So there's a combination. I don't know. So there's a combination of crayon. What is it? Um, pastel. Yeah, chalk pastel. How do you pick the colors? Um, I did a mixture of like cool and warm colors, and I put them together, and I sort of smeared it up to where it makes it into like a nice blending color a little bit. And so it's a collage. You cut out the mountains too. You yes. Made them 3D. Yes. With shading and more of the uh, and more of the crayons, right? The color, the oil pastel. Myself. I noticed earlier that you did pick like a solid dark, dark, dark black. It's sort of a nice gray, right? How'd you pick that? To show off the colors? Mm, it made, like it's sort of more like a mountains have them a little bit more, and then like more of a gray. Yeah. Yeah. So was this hard to do? A little bit. Um, would you do anything different? Um, I would probably add like a couple more um, of these, like the mountain okay. parts. Right. Have you ever seen the Northern Lights? No. Me either. It's one of my one of my bucket list things. I really want to see them. Uh, well, that's very nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Aaron, this is very cool. Tell us about it. Thank you. Well, we had to um, use stencils to trace them and interlock the shapes and make different colors on the inside and out. And I brought it home to work on it some more because I couldn't finish it. Well, how, yeah, how long did this take? Well, I took a few days at home to make it and two school periods. How'd you pick the colors? They go together really um, well. I thought, I just picked them. Are they your favorite colors or just no, you thought? No, not the, really. The, I might I have chosen oh, more different colors than blue and green, more ones opposite on the color wheel. There you go. Were you, were you uh, limited to three colors? Or you can pick well, we could one? have done two or three, but I chose three to try and make uh, the minimum amount of shapes yeah. that touched the col yeah. colors. So pencil, color pencil, right? Yeah. Well, would you do anything differently? And I probably would change the colors, and the, up here it's a little darker than okay. the way it's but you had to but you had, to, you had to be very careful with the color choice, uh, the pencil choice, because you had to graduate the color, right? You had to make it darker, lighter, whatever. You did a really good job. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Shelby, tell us about this very dramatic piece of art. Okay, so I decided to do the elephant because elephants are used for their Tusk. tusks a lot. Yeah. Insane, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and since they're becoming extinct, probably from all of that, horrible. <laughs> and then I decided to do the warm colors for the background because. Okay. Uh, you know what you can say? What technique is that? The, the warm color? The watercolor? Yes. Okay. Um, because it shows that it's going to be really hot out there. <laughs> like today? Yeah, okay. Uh huh. <laughs> and that. Um, that where okay so elephants blow themselves in mud so yep. sunscreen yep so and they could tell dry land right there right? okay so probably dies and then explorers come take the tusks it's insane so okay so the uh, the silhouette and the, and the, the basketball no the sun <laughs> um, is how do you do that paint yes with black paint and then I did it I went two times oh okay you and I just uh, it's like an outline kind of how long does it take to do one week or two okay it's very nice. how do you get the trees your, your design you look at pictures what um well first I looked at pictures and then I saw all the people and I decided I should have holes make them look like trees so I decided to do little holes and make them look like they're actually leaves okay yeah it's very nice would you do anything differently I would probably add more like little small trees and make maybe like a baby elephant oh, oh yeah wow it's very nice I really like very it's sort of a it's re oddly relaxing for, for, for all the dark and, and the and the, uh, the, uh, the hard sharp colors it's very nice thank you very much thank you uh, tell us about your neighborhood you made this neighborhood right all right tell us about it so it like so there's three houses and they're like all like neighbors so yeah. 
Yeah. One person, um, they, they can like say hi and be a one person. They can right. open it and then. Two or three, turn a little bit sideways. Okay. So. They can open the windows and talk to each other. So, and they have like a backyard because some has like trees between their house. Yep. So they um so they can't like just like walk through the corners of them. So for the trees you have your little squiggly things, which for leaves, right? And then you have windows, you have the uh oh the same thing on the clouds. That's cool. How do you pick the colors? What? How do you pick the colors? Because so they go together really well. You gotta cut them out, glue them down. And I like pick the color and like make it like go darker into like another color oh, of paper. Okay. Oh, very nice. And, and then, and then uh, uh, different patterns on the roof mm -hmm. for the shingles and stuff, and even the clouds. Would you like to live in this neighborhood? <laughs> Which house would be yours? Um, Which is your favorite house? Um, this one. There you go. Is green your favorite color? No? What's your favorite color? Um, purple and pink. Okay. All right. What you, would you have up there? It's very nice. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, Jesse. This is a very cool duck. Although, I heard it wasn't... It's, some people thought it was a very interesting duck, but I think it's really cool. Thank you. How'd you pick it? It was the last one left. Yeah, it was... <laughs> Um, well, I thought it was very interesting and pretty, and it was one of the last ones, so... Yeah. Every, yeah, we've heard from <laughs> Mrs. Wheeler, everyone yeah. Everyone that I tried to pick, someone else already got it first. Right. Now, so, okay, so were you looking for a more colorful duck or, or, or whatever, but this this is a, 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 a certain color pattern, right? I was just... Well, I just looked at the duck and I said, well, this is pretty, I'm going to try it. It was a challenge, right? Yeah. All right, tell us about the detail in these feathers. Um, well, those were kind of hard to explain because it was, it was like, not feathers, but it was feathers... Kind of, I don't know how to say it. It was like... A pattern on feathers? Um... You can see that here. Yeah, that was... That was, that was a little bit easier, right? Yeah. But that's that's tricky. You know, all I did was lines over lines, and I just... I kind of did squares, and then I cut them... Like, okay. Yeah. yeah. So... The feathers, I mean, uh, all the feathers are really good. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the background you have... Um, I have cattails and I have the water and bristles right here, the duck shadowing. And right here it kind of goes dark because when the duck was swimming, the water kind of faded. Okay. And this is one of Mrs. Wheeler's fav favorite projects, I know. And you won Best in the School, correct? Yeah. Wow. Is that exciting? Yeah. What would you do different? Um, nothing really. I mean, I would try to not scribble as much on this beak. <laughs> okay. And... Well, no, and you did a great job with the, with the, uh, the cheek, right? The duck cheek. Yeah. Uh, very 3D. Cute. Um, maybe fix these a little bit more. Cool. Okay. Yeah. And it's pretty much. Oh, I would try to fix the shadow definitely. Okay. Yeah. Right. But still, you got best in school. Thank you very much. It's very cool. Kelsey Rogers, what is going on here? Uh, what we're going to do is like, um, like splatter paint, like more like narrative, like it tells a story. Yep. And about this is like, it's about like dream catchers and okay. more like Native Americans. Right. You had to pick one word and go from there, right? Yeah. Uh, the color choices, how do you pick those? Were you limited to two or? Yeah, we only can pick two colors, um, and I pick uh, like more like purplish uh, blue with the yellow because like like peacocks like those uh, colorful feathers, and I thought that color uh, scheme was like really. Mm -hmm. and then you can add pictures which you have from different sources and the page of the dictionary, right? Yeah, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Are you happy with it? Would you do anything different? Like, I think it's really cool. I, I don't think I would change it. Uh -huh. And um, I like how I do the 3D. Yeah, I like the 3Dness of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Tell us about this really cool piece of art. So, I started by, I got a smaller piece of paper and I got to draw two practice dogs. Okay. And then gotcha. I got to right. How close, how close is this to your first one? A big change? You added stuff? Yeah. Because I heard you. Well, right, keep going. Go ahead. Talk. Um, and then I went to this, and I was going to go that, and then I traced it with the Sharpie, and then I went under some of the paint, and then I was going to go it, so it showed. Okay. And then I painted it. You what? Painted it. So this is paint. This is water or what is it? I think it's watercolor. Okay. Right. And so you, see, you seem to have a color spectrum for the sun. The the sun itself is really uh, nicely 3D. Is that hard? Not really. Really? Okay. Very cool. And then how'd you pick the uh, right, mountain colors? How'd you pick that? So, I kind of just chose a couple colors that I didn't want it all to look the same, so mm -hmm. I chose seven different colors. There you go. Yeah. They're cool. They're cool mountains. And then down below, what do we have? So, I started with four patterns on my practice, and then I decided that the patterns were too big, Yeah, waves, waves, and then the big, big wave, right? <laughs> would you do anything different? What do you mean? Well, if you, if you could redo it, would you add anything? Would you change the color? Would you, you tell me? Or maybe it's perfect. <laughs> He's okay. He's under the camera. Keep going. I really like, I think the color choices are great. Uh, and then, and then the, the uh, white crayon? Yes. To do stuff? That's very cool. Well, thank you very much. All right, Chelsea, what do we have here? Um, this is Monet's water lily. So in this part, it's the water, and we did the salt on the um, watercolor painting. Yep. And these are the reflections of the trees up here, and this is the bridge. The famous bridge. Um, how did you pick the colors? Because um, it's such a nice, soft arrangement of colors. We, we looked at all of our color choices, and we chose the lightest colors that we like and the darkest colors that we like, and one in between. So we got to use three colors on each of the pieces. Oh, okay, just three colors. Wow. Wow, that's tricky. And then watercolor is kind of tricky, right? It kind of, got, well, kind of wants to go where it wants to go, right? Yeah, well, what we did was we made an outline, so, and then we put water on top first <laughs> with a sponge brush, and mm -hmm. then we put the watercolors on top of the water. Mm -hmm. So they didn't spread, so we didn't put the water anywhere else but gotcha. the place that we wanted to. How long did this take to do? Um, like... This is pretty tricky. Five art classes, maybe. Okay. Wow, that's a lot. That's a, this is like a perfect painting for a hot day, right? Because yeah. it's very cool. Yeah, and we got to choose whether we wanted to put the bridge in there uh -huh. or just do the water. Okay. Put the water lilies in it. Be went for the hard choice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good for you. All right, thank you very much. All right, Shanta, this is one dramatic instrument. Tell us about it. How'd you make it? So I first... Get a little bit closer, buddy. Good. I first drew the bass guitar and then I put, I drew it with marker and then we painted it with oil pastels and oh. Go ahead. And then I painted the background with lots of layers of blue. Yes. All right, why a bass guitar? Well, I, uh, do you, I look, I like the look of the guitar and okay. it looked cool, so. Do you play? No, I don't play it. Would you like to play it? <laughs> mm, I already play something else. Oh, okay. All right. So how do you pick these colors? <laughs> well, I like the color red, so I pick the warm colors to put in the guitar. 
and uh, against a very dark blue. How'd you pick that? Well, since it stands out, if you put the dark blue in the background, I picked it. I think you should go home and pick up a, a bass guitar and start playing. <laughs> <laughs> no? No. It's very nice. Would you do anything different? Mm. No, I like it. You like it? All right. Confident. Thank you very much. You're All right, Allison Donnelly, tell us about this very complicated and it looks like a very tricky piece of art. How'd you do it? Um, well, I, my class was doing, uh, working on Maori art. Yep. From New okay. Zealand? Yes, okay. Okay, and then I picked a dolphin, which is one of the traditional New Zealand creatures. Okay. And um, I just kind of took a picture and made my own creation of it. And then I added all the um, the spirals, yeah. chevrons, and kurus to it to make it its own unique. That's a, not a Maori uh, typical shapes, yeah. whatever. Now this is on what kind of board? Uh, a scratch board. So you're using a very sharp what to trace these lines? Um, I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's a very sharp um, okay. object that is very hard to scratch on the scratch board because uh -huh. if you scratch too hard, then you will go through the materials and then you can't undo that. Yeah, this is a calorie. See, it's not very forgiving. Mm -hmm. You can't, you can't go, you can't go backwards. Yeah. Well, and these colors were the official colors of the project, right? Yes. Uh, I think it's very cool. It's very nice and relaxing. What would you do different, if anything? Uh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe uh, add more designs in the background, but I think it looks great. Just no, but I think, but I think it's too much would be too much. I think you have the the, the, the right amount of stuff, mm -hmm. right? Because you can see the the uh, the dolphin mm -hmm. and the waves. That's very impressive. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Nina, tell us about this very dramatic picture that stares back at you. <laughs> Um, well, it's my dad's favorite, like, he loves birds of prey, so I decided that I'd paint it for him because I love animals and I wanted to do it. And part of the project was to be very close, right? Yeah, it had to be, like, a close-up to, like, an eye or, like, a certain part of it. <laughs> and you picked two eyes <laughs> and a beak. All right, so making it 3D, how'd you do that? Um, just, like, shading and, like, knowing where the light would hit in, like, real life and everything. Were you allowed to change the colors, or, or this your color palette, or was this right from the picture, um, or what? I changed the colors a little bit because in the picture it was a little more dull, and I kind of wanted it to like pop. We can't have dull. <laughs> yeah. All right, tell us about the eyes. Um, they were the first thing that I did, and the hardest thing that <laughs> a part of the painting because yeah. I took so much time on it, and the rest kind of is like more like flows and it's more movement, but yes. the eyes is kind of like the focal point of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, they're kind of very, very solid. And here you had the flowing Yeah. Uh, there was uh, a lot feathers. more like brush strokes in like this part of the painting, and this was like very fine, like. Brush. Tell us about the, how hard was the beak? Um, that part was actually like I did it kind of freehand. I didn't really see how it would be in the picture, so I looked off of a couple pictures of different like birds and decided just to make it up. Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. <laughs> Who's going to know? And then the, uh, even the depth of the nostrils, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're actually much smaller in the actual, <laughs> actual right. bird, but uh -huh. I kind of messed up, so I kind of improvised. <laughs> <laughs> Again, nobody will ever know. <laughs> nobody will ever, ever know. Are you happy with it? Would you do anything different? Um, I think I'm okay with it. I mean, it was the first time I kind of worked with like oil paint, so. Well, an oil paint is famously tricky, right? Yeah, like you have to paint exactly what you see right where it's supposed to be. You can't like go back and blend it out or go back yeah. over it. Right, like with the crayons you could, but, but maybe not. Uh, I think it's very nice. Good Thank job. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for joining us for the Superintendent's Art Gallery. I am Julia Alley. I'm the Supervisor of Visual and Performing Art. We <laughs> hope to see you in November when we have our next Superintendent's Art Gallery. Thank you so much.